Negotiations among the claimant nations of the South China Sea will convene here in the Philippines for a meeting to discuss the establishment of a code of conduct. More of this report from MJ Mondejar. Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo expressed the prevailing sentiment among countries involved in the South China Sea dispute. During Tuesday's hearing for the Department of Foreign Affairs, or DFA, proposal for the 2024 national budget, Manalo emphasized the government's commitment to peaceful resolution even when dealing with China. The general understanding among all countries is to try and resolve the disputes in the South China Sea through peaceful means. And even with China. Amid calls for a more assertive approach from the Philippines regarding territorial issues, Secretary Manalo maintained a composed demeanor. This comes in the wake of the recent incident involving the Chinese Coast Guard's use of water cannons against a Philippine vessel during a resupply mission in a Yugin Shoal. Despite public outrage over the incident, the DFA reaffirmed that the issue must be solved through diplomatic and peaceful means. We have entered into discussions with them bilaterally that we will try and resolve our disputes through peaceful means and to manage them peacefully and to focus on areas where uh, our relationship is uh, really very positive. Secretary Manalo assured that discussions with China are ongoing and that both parties remain committed to dialogue. The claimant countries are now taking steps to prevent the escalation of tensions in the contested waters. The discussions are primarily centered around China and the member countries of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, which includes the Philippines. According to the DFA, China and ASEAN are set to engage in further discussions to establish a code of conduct on the South China Sea, which is set to take place in the Philippines later this month. They've already had uh, two or three uh, significant rounds of negotiation. And in fact, uh, the next round is scheduled to be held here in Manila. So it's in this forum where all the uh, members of ASEAN and China are, are actually meeting in the same in the same body. The next round of negotiations on a negotiating text is will be held here in Manila, 22 to 24 August. Ang nangyayari kasi sa atin ngayon between China and the Philippines is mayroon kang tinatawag na word, word, salita, word, war. Salita dito ng Pilipinas, salita ng China. So nagsasalpukan ng mga salita natin ng dalawang bansa. So given na nandito yung meeting, it, it's kind of a way para mag-cool down ang sitwasyon. Negotiations for a code of conduct in the South China Sea began in 2002. The competing claimant nations include the Philippines, Brunei, Malaysia, and Vietnam. The Philippines, for its part, maintains its stance on pursuing dialogue regarding territorial disputes. On the other hand, hindi lang naman ang China ang problema mo. Kahit nga dyan sa yung insults being claimed by Vietnam. Spratly is also being claimed by Vietnam. So also talk to Vietnam and to all other claimant states and agreed amicably ko ano ba talaga ang atin at kung anong basis ng atin. Kasi ang atin, to be honest with you, is based on on clause. For Ganamable of Philippines, MJ Mondihar, SMNI News.